Oh God. There's a saying when it comes to climbing Mount Fuji. A wise man climbs Mount Fuji once, a fool climbs it twice. As I lay here on this very uncomfortable volcanic rock, broken, defeated, destroyed, on my second attempt to at climb Mount Fuji, I realise I, I am that fool. What the bloody hell was I thinking? Why have I put myself through this again? Nothing was worth this! Mount Fuji, Japan's tallest mountain. Towering over Tokyo at 3,776 metres, is a visually striking cultural icon, with 300,000 people attempting to conquer it every single year. With its steep incline, rocky volcanic slopes and rapidly changing weather, ascending Mount Fuji is far from easy, something I discovered 10 years ago. Ill-equipped and poorly prepared, as I sat on the summit of Mount Fuji in a semi-frostbitten state, I vowed never to climb it ever again. But fate has brought me back for one reason. At 50 years old, my best Japanese friend Natsuki wants to mark the milestone by undertaking the climb, the hardest physical challenge of his life. There's just one problem. It's the only physical challenge of his life. Having almost thought about doing exercise once 15 years ago, Natsuki is far from physically fit. Worse still, as the world's most prolific smoker, having puffed his way through two packs of Marlboro cigarettes every single day for 35 years, Natsuki's flame-grilled lungs might seriously struggle with the low oxygen found at the peak of the mountain. It won't be easy, but with Natsuki not getting any younger, he's convinced this could be his last chance to see it through. And so we're in this together. There'll be pain, frustration, and lots and lots of oxygen tanks as we battle our way through the nights across the black volcanic wasteland. Join us on the epic adventure of a lifetime as we attempt to climb four kilometers into the sky to reach the summit of Mount Fuji. Good God, that is a spectacular view. Here we are guys, Lake Kawaguchi at the foot of Mount Fuji just one day before the climb. Um, it's about 5 p.m., the sun's going down, and we've got a rare view of the mountain. Like normally in summer, it's kind of enshrouded in haze and clouds and you can't see it. Today, fate is smiling down upon us. It wants to get us excited before we climb it tomorrow. And I say we, because of course, I won't be going alone up there. Joining us on our trip to the summit of Mount Fuji is the man, the myth, the legend himself, Natsuki. Come on over, Natsuki. Yay. Are you ready? No! <laughs> you can do it! What do you mean? Like, I could do it. Good You're... track! No, 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 no. You're coming as well. well, well Come well, on. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Why? You've been training, right? You've been cycling every day. Every day, yeah. Right. Now, I said to Natsuki, you've got to do some training for this, right? I'm a macho man. He's a macho man. And he's allegedly been cycling 40 kilometers a day. You said 40? No, 20. 20. Oh. That's a little bit more worrying. Um, <laughs> it's only 20 kilometers a day. What are you worried about the most on this climb? Yeah. My knee? Oh, your knees. Yeah. yeah. Broken. Yeah, let's, hopefully not, because that'll be a very, yeah. very bad end indeed. Because very uncle. <laughs> very uncle. Uncle, man. So we start the climb in about 18 hours time. So I think we should get some training in, some, uh, some stretching, oh, yeah. some exercise, right? Okay! Yeah. Um, but, no, 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 no. I'm drinking. No, that's good. You Not tonight. One oh. night only, no bloody drinking. I'm Together, let's climb Mount Fuji. Yeah. So tonight, guys, we're staying at this uh, really nice cottage at the base of Mount Fuji. And if I've learned one thing over the last year doing crazy physical challenges like Spartan races and cycles and boxing, you've got to carb load the night before. You've got to eat a lot of carbohydrates so you can power on through. And thankfully, some friends from the UK brought me a a fucking crate of Walker's crisps that I've been gradually making my way through. So I've got a carb load in the name of fitness. I've got to eat them all. It's really great though. Out the window, I've got this incredible view of Mount Fuji and now it's nighttime. You can literally see the climbers, thousands of people at night, making their way up the mountainside with their lights on. And it's really weird to think we're going to be like amongst them tomorrow. I'm a little bit worried. The last few days, Natsuki said, Natsuki said, oh, I've been doing 40 kilometers on the bike, Chris. 40 kilometers every night, one hour. And then a minute ago when we filmed, he was like, oh, 20 kilometers, Chris, I said 20 kilometers. 
It seems to be going down by the hour, and I'm worried that we're gonna get on Mount Fuji tomorrow, halfway up, and Natsuki's gonna be like, I, I did five kilometers a day. In fact, I didn't train at all. And we will know very quickly uh, how much training he really did, because I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. But maybe if he carb loads, he'll be all right. Mm. Welcome to exercise with Natsuki. Hey. Hey. Be careful. <laughs> Hey, like a dumbbell. You don't need weights to exercise, you just need a rice cooker. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Four. This is not a deal. Eight. Six. Seven. Six. No! Quickly tie us. When or if you reach the summit, what do you want to do at the top of Mount Fuji? Oh, give me money. <laughs> what do you mean, give me money? <laughs> what is it? High class and dance. I'll, I'll watch it. It's yeah. 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 no, 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 together. No, 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 no. I'll throw the coins. You can do the crazy high class dance. <laughs> 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 and if that's not a reason to watch to the end of this video, I don't know what is. And so, with the greatest challenge of Natsuki's life ahead of him, with just two hours before beginning our ascent, there's just one last step of preparation needed. Yes, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single McDonald's. Yeah, <laughs> McDonald's, I like it. It's good. You need it, right? Yeah. You need a good meal before doing a big challenge. And uh, a mega muffin from McDonald's has a slow release of carbs over the seven hour climb. Uh, so it's scientifically shown to, to help you with the climb on Mount Fuji. That's not, it's just science, it's physics, right? We need an energy. Exactly, exactly. Oh. Don't judge me. Shut Good up. calorie. Mm. Oh, shit. You can see Fuji behind us, actually. It's still, like, visible. I'm more worried about getting heat stroke than my legs getting ruined, to be honest. Wow. How do you feel today? Pinch your spirit? Just a little bit. A little bit scared. Mm. But we're actually taking quite an unconventional route up Mount Fuji. Most people take the uh, Fuji Yoshida Trail. We're going up the Fuji no Miya Trail, uh, round the back of the mountain. It's a little bit steeper, and I'll explain why after this McDonald's, when we get there. See you in a minute. Ah, oh, all right. McDonald's alone might not be enough to see you through a Mount Fuji climb. And so we take one final stop at the closest 7-Eleven to the base of Mount Fuji. I'm a bit worried. I've been watching Natsuki from afar as he goes from aisle to aisle. And he's put some pretty, uh, pretty precarious things in there. Like Natsuki's got like a fucking four-course meal. He's taking up the mountain. Luckily, no beer yet, though, so that's a relief. Go for that. Tough to me. And uh, tips: seaweed and salt, top of the mountain, and a beer. <laughs> Mount Fuji has four trails. The most popular of which is Fuji Yoshida, hoovering up over fifty percent of all climbers. While the gradient is the most forgiving and the huts along the way are numerous, it's an incredibly busy route. And so we've opted for a sneaky route around the back called Fuji no Miya. Far less busy and with plenty of huts from the fifth station to the summit, allowing us to catch our breath and stock up on supplies. We've had no problems reserving a mountain hut to sleep in halfway up the mountainside. There's just two drawbacks. Number one, it's a steeper, tougher incline and very rocky with many climbers injured on the way down. And number two, unshielded from the winds on the south side, it can be unforgiving when it comes to the weather. But it's the price to pay to avoid the crowds, as per the recommendation of our seasoned Mount Fuji climber and good friend Victor, frame of travel. Thank you, Victor. We'd have been stuffed without your advice. Regardless of the four routes, nearly all Fuji climbers start the ascent from the fifth station of each route, about 2,000 metres up and only accessible by bus. And so, having parked up, we ride the bus, crammed with climbers, to kick off our journey from Fuji no Miya's fifth station. Oh, oh. oh God. Oh God, wow. Wow, too heavy. Oh. Uh, nearly there. We've nearly made it out of the car park. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> we haven't begun uh. yet. We've made it to the Fuji no Miya trail, guys. The, you the say give up? Point. Not give up, we've only begun. Go on, you keep going. Oh. Time for a stretch. Uh, cut that. I body very hard. I'm knackered just rummaging through this fucking bag. This doesn't bode well, does it? I thought it was going to be quite a bit cooler up here. I thought it'd be like 10 degrees, 15. Well, it's still very hot, right? It's like 25 or something, even though we're 2,300 meters up. So. Natsuki Sparrow. 
sunscreen. Very important. This is so heavy. Like, oh. I wouldn't mind climbing, but the bag, like, just standing still <laughs> on a flat, normal gradient with this bag is enough to do my back in. So I'm worried about that. What are you worried about? Last cigarette. Nothing, it's last cigarette. I have ashtray. You've got an ashtray, though. You've got to take care of the mountain. Don't litter. Bring your ashtray with you. How do you feel, Natsuki? You feeling a little bit nervous? A little bit nervous. But if I don't cry, everybody fine. Very sad. All your fans will be sad. Yeah. Hold on here. It's so, true. So they were You've got to do it for your yeah. fans. Yeah. We can do it. We can do it. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Give it a high five. Yeah. He's got his Marlboro's hands. You yeah. ready? Team abroad in Japan. Let's do it. Let's go. 2,400. So uh. we got our first look at the mountain here. And we're already out of breath. The issue is the bags. Well, the bags are so bloody heavy, right? And our station that we're staying at oh. tonight in the hut is really high up the mountain. So the idea being we have a lot of pain today, but tomorrow morning when we have to get up at 1 a.m., it's not as difficult. The surface is obviously volcanic ash, so it's quite slippery on the feet, which doesn't help. But uh, oh. this is our first look at the mountain, really. Gives us a sense of where we're heading today. It's just one big volcanic ashy wasteland. We'll go very, so, very slowly. Very, very slowly. Mm. Um, because Uncle Star. Uncle Style. Yeah. It's a new fashion brand. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Woo! Dueno. He wasn't a Kung Fu master, he was just trying to get his fucking stick working. Yeah. He took out three people. Oh. Stand the hell away from you, mate. Oh. <gasps> You've broken it already. Broken. Fuji isn't the challenge today, it's the stick Natsuki's brought. It's gonna be a long, long day. Who'd have thought Natsuki on Mount Fuji? First time, first time. Yeah. Having spent the first 20 minutes nearly killing three people with his walking stick, Natsuki needs a quick break. And thankfully we arrive at the first stop of our journey, Mountain Station 6. So as you go up Fuji, there are several stations, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tenth is the one on the summit. But uh, you can kind of work out which station you're at, not by looking at the number, but at the prices of the drinks in the vending machines. Case in point here, the water is about 350 yen, it's about $3, right? But as you get up the mountain, the price gradually increases, and by station eight or nine, that becomes 500 yen, about $4, so it's pricey bring lots of money, lots of coins, especially also if you want to use a toilet on the mountain, it costs 200 yen to enter, so you have to bring a lot of 100 yen coins when you come to Mount Fuji, literally a sack. We've got a special person literally to carry a sack of coins just for this trip. His name's Dave. Nice guy, nice guy. What? How do you feel? Oh, maybe finish. Finish? Yeah. Really? Six station. Does they stay? <laughs> no, 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 no. Six? Up there, up there, that's good. Oh, fuck. 150 meters down. Well done. Oh, finish. Look at his yeah. face. You look like the grudge. Yeah, today's finish. <laughs> What's Next this, day. Natsuki? What's this? Uh, limited sticker. Limited sticker. Natsuki's come up Mount Fuji for one reason and one reason alone yeah. to promote his merch. But he's not alone, of course. I've got a present for you. Oh, but you're brought Mount Japan Fuji. Book. Too heavy. You can carry that to the summer. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you think today? You can throw it. <laughs> throw it. it back here. <laughs> So as you can see, the crowd's climbing Mount Fuji. The main reason we chose this route, as I said, guys, is it has like a quarter of the foot traffic compared to the main route. And uh, given Fuji is at its busiest this year ever, we wanted to do it at our own pace, our own time. But still, pretty damn busy. So dread to think what the other side of the mountain's like. Anyway, onwards and upwards. We carry on now to the seventh station. Oh, we're halfway up now to seventh station. We can literally see it's within our grasp. But Natsuki's uh, struggling a little bit. Hard training. We did lighten the load in his bag. We removed about oh. like, four packs of Marlboro cigarettes. Yeah. So it's a little bit lighter. How oh. do you feel your body? Body is so hard. With that. Here? <sighs> oh, stitch. Stitch. Stitch, right? Oh, Natsuki under stitch. <laughs> oh. I have oxygen. What's that? What is that? Oh. 18 litres of air. What yeah. the fuck, Natsuki? Oh. oh. Hey, hey, Natsuki, <laughs> hey! <laughs> I wanna climb Mount Fuji! Get that cost! <laughs> this is the reason, I'm really scared of this. It's the real reason he brought it, to do some silly voices. How do you do it? Yeah. Hello, everyone. What? 
It doesn't do anything. That is Hansel. Though, you man. lying. <laughs> yeah, I'm power up. Be -be 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 -be. Uh, I want a star. Then they get up. Oh, champion, champion three. Visibility comes and goes. Um, the clouds just suddenly swoop over you and you get like 10 meters of uh, visibility. Like, as you can see here, quite difficult. I could barely see Natsuki behind me. It's kind of cool though, the, the clouds are really refreshing. I really want some lunch though. The McDonald's has powered me so far, but I need something a little bit more substantial as we close in on the seventh station. How are you well, feeling? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not no. It's, it's annoying. So long mountain. It is long, like, I remember this from the last climb. Every time I reached the station, I felt like I'd made progress. And then I saw the next one, and it was like, oh, it's another hour to that one. And like, we really haven't even begun yet. So, one hour. One hour to the next station. Oh my God. Yeah. Off you go. Bye. Good luck. Good luck. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye, 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 bye. Goodbye. Let's call Natsuki's pocket oxygen out for what it is. Absolute bollocks. I don't think this could possibly have an effect, but if you can't join them, beat them. I've got my own oxygen spray and it's far bigger. Look at that baby size nonsense. But my favorite thing about this and this, the main reason to buy it is so you could do like impressions of Darth Vader. Like... He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No. What do you see there? What do you see? It's got to good side. The views are stunning. All I can think about is sitting down for an extended period of time and eating something big. I don't know what we've got food at the hut tonight, but I don't know what it is. Hopefully, it's something a little bit better than some cup noodles. Last time I uh, just slept on a rock. And it was the worst night of my life, so uh, <laughs> maybe it is worth the 7,000 yen. Oh, uh, the shortness of breath really gets to you. Obviously, the oxygen's a little bit lower the higher you go up here, and uh, altitude sickness is a real thing. Especially in my case, I've got asthma, which isn't really helping. Natsuki's got smoker lungs, but uh, we've hired a team of no less than three experienced British Sherpas to help him up the mountain, and uh, two of them are now forcing him up the mountainside. Yeah, this is getting really difficult now. The, the climb is quite vertical and it's really taken out and all the other climbers I've seen as well they all seem to be a little bit kind of short of breath so yeah we're not alone on this. Dr Jelly. Well Paul of love. I haven't seen you like eat anything. McDonald's. Well no wonder you're fucked you've eaten anything. I've had like 10 energy jellies. Uh, I ain't jelly. Oh, finish, finish. finish. Ryotro has never climbed Mount Fuji. Never climbed? Never. So you could be the first. Oh, first. That's the motivator we need, right? Make him feel jealous. I can do it. Yes. Yeah. Little boys. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness. Powered up on Dr. Jelly and the undeniable thrill of trumping Ryotaro, Natsuki successfully pushes on to the old seventh station, a somewhat underwhelming and understocked outpost that's little more than a pile of bricks. If you're wondering what altitude it starts to get cold, we've just arrived at 7th station number 2. There's like an old station 7 and a new one. Uh, we're at the old one. It's 3,010 metres and it's bloody cold. That's why I've got my fleece on. 3,000? 3,000 metres. Only 776 metres to go. Unbelievable. It's pretty good. You're doing well, Natsuki. I'm really impressed, man. Oh. And now he's going to choke to death on his oatmeal. Or he's <laughs> Too cold. It's cold. What are you, what are you eating? Ugh. It's like a, children, ah. like a children's sweet, Natsuki. <laughs> Call them all oh. <laughs> it's 4.46 now, and we were told that if we don't get to the station, to our hut where we're staying the night, by 7pm, we won't be able to have dinner, which is a really stupid rule. I don't know why. Well, we've got to get there before 7, and I don't think we're going to make good it. Good pace. Good, good pace? Mm. A good pit. Good pace. Yeah. <laughs> we've got two hours. Two hours, and it's about 600 metres up. Mmm, well, it's very vertical. Mania, mania, that's a diamond. Elevator. Uh, yeah, yeah, the <laughs> elevator. Mm. Just the elevator. That's a dustbin, that's good. <laughs> Our triumph at passing 3,000 meters is somewhat short lived at the realization the route is about to get a whole lot tougher as the gradient steepens and the climb starts to feel practically bloody vertical. <sighs> so far. 
one good thing about altitude sickness, it sort of ruins your, your head and your taste buds. And these chips style, they're a poor man's Pringles. Tastes like fucking cardboard normally, but with altitude sickness, you're none the wiser. You can barely taste them. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. And Nesky is doing well. He keeps doing this very annoying thing though, where he'll stop and take a photo. He'll take all his gloves and equipment off, take like a selfie, and he's just wasted like a thousand calories. And it's just like, can you just, uh, you just keep going, Asky. How do you feel? More quick. More quick. Come on then. Let's go. Oh, it's a joke, a joke. <laughs> Getting incredibly short of breath now. But the view, the view, my God, it is stunning. <laughs> Above the clouds now, on the home straight, feeling like a wreck. Natsuki uh, arrived a minute ago, a few seconds behind, and just collapsed and threw his poles down in a very. Uh, Angry fashion, unbecoming of Natsuki. I, I genuinely thought there was a 50-50 chance he would get this far. And he's, yeah, he's exceeded expectations. I think, I think we're gonna make it. I'm enjoying this a lot more than the last climb. Uh, we are 3,250 meters, feeling a bit lightheaded still. Pretty precarious, because you're sort of feeling lightheaded and then you get to these like really steep edges and you're like, Ugh. Does it really help? What it's my it? life. If he can't have his cigarettes, he has to have something he smokes and <laughs> inhales like, in his mouth. Smoke cigarette in Yeah. <laughs> cigarette in one hand, oxygen in the other. That's the most Natsuki situation ever. Choke to. Administering the poison and the cure mm. at the same time. Come on, Natsuki. Last one hour to dinner. Yeah. Can you do it? I can do it. Yeah. Finish. Yeah. He can't. Hey, I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can. I don't know what I'm more impressed about. Natsuki making it this far and doing this well. Well, the fact that we are going to make it for dinner. Um, us, like the whole team, Natsuki, myself, Ian and the guys, we all thought we weren't going to make it for dinner. And we'd sort of resigned ourselves to the fact we were going to be eating like energy jelly and dirt <laughs> uh, as we reached our uh, hut. But now, with about 30, 40 minutes to go, uh, I actually can't see the hut, which is a little bit worrying, but uh, I think we're going to make it. Famous last words. Really oh. your dinner. <laughs> you could do it. Uh, we are strong. You're strong. You're strong. I'm strong. So. We're all strong. You just kind of realize your own insignificance in a, in a nice kind of way, right? When you're standing on a 3,000 meter mountain, you, know, you realize the grand scheme of things, your place in the world. But uh, the view's incredible. You can see the shadow of Mount Fuji over there. And then in front of that, you can see the man himself. He's doing incredible. So proud of Natsuki today. What a champion. The gates to Mount Fuji. My God. Unfortunately, it's not quite the four course Wagyu dinner that I'd envisioned as we step inside our overcrowded accommodation to find cheap microwave curry. Still, the warmth is much needed as we stand awkwardly in the restaurant like idiots waiting to be noticed. So we're in the uh, somewhat chaotic cabin. It's a restaurant, doing all sorts of food, udon noodles, curry. We've got to try and check in, pay, get our beds, and then hopefully get some food. But I'm so lightheaded, I actually can't think. I feel like I've just done chess boxing. We raced up that last stretch to get here. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, I, I. So lightheaded and brain dead right now. After my dummy dummy. Come on, we got curry rice, so it's not all bad. Oh, we made it here though, guys. Against the odds, hellish climb. Too hungry. Like breathless, but we've done it. And what a reward! A job well done. Are you gonna have a? Are you gonna have a beer? Uh, <laughs> now it's the one time Natsuki doesn't need a beer or a cigarette. Six, six. Have a go on. Just one. For God, you've literally been puffing oxygen the last six hours. Oh, oxygen. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Natsuki. Just think, Natsuki, tonight, yeah. of all the people in Japan, all 125 million, you are one of the highest people going to sleep at night. Yeah. Probably top 100. Or like a sky king. Like a sky king, Yay. like a god. It's really annoying, there's a shop here, right? And it closes at 7 p.m. But there was like sandwiches and stuff. And I was like, I'll have a sandwich. They're like, no, the shop is closed now. Be careful. Stupid. Only 
Sam Alcott. Yeah, so be careful if you come here. After seven, they're just the starters. I like, no, nothing now. A pre wrapped sandwich, goddammit. It's freezing, but what a view, what a night. And last time I came here, I uh, I didn't get a hut, right? I got to sleep on like a, a rock. Right? Tonight is so cold. It is pretty cold, right? Yeah, I, I don't know how I did it last time. Wow. There was a lot of pain. Luckily, we've got a bed. It's, it's kind of cramped, all of us packed in there. Like a capsule hotel. It is like a capsule hotel, but worse, because I have to share the capsule with Natsuki. Yeah. Oh, all right. Be careful, catch a cold. Yeah, come on, let's go and tuck in. I was promised the penthouse suite. What is this? Seven or eight <laughs> sleeping bags bundled in a room. You might have seen Ellen. She was in the video we did where we went to Hiroshima and ate a pizza out of a vending, out of a vending machine. You did eat the crunky. We ate pizza out of a vending machine. That's all Ellen wanted to do. She doesn't care about culture. She just wants the pizza, the pizza out of a vending machine. She deserves to be woken up by my snoring for her lack of cultural investment. <laughs> I'm so lightheaded. This video's done. Well, on a scale of uh, one to shit night's sleep, that was was really quite bad um, for two reasons. Number one, the pillow is literally made from concrete, so your neck like really just hurts on this an awful Biggest lot. Bar. Yeah, like a big bone or whatever Natsuki just said. Second. For some reason, people can't put their phones on silent in this fucking place. And every time you're falling asleep, you hear Mioshi! Or And like, still Natsuki had a good sleep, snoring for four yeah. hours. And a very hard of. Yeah, they were good sleep. Mm. Zuto. You are, you are, you are there. No, 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 I didn't sleep at all. Did I snore? Oh, yes. Did I? Yes. <laughs> Oh, not, like, not much, not like you normally do. But um, yeah, I think I actually slept better last time on the rock outside <laughs> in the cold. So I don't think the cabins are the be all and end all, so to speak. But at least it was warm <laughs> and dry. Not so much the breakfast of champions as the breakfast of shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast of tyranny. This sausage looks really suspect. It looks like it's. Like been made from plastic, like uh, you get in the the storefront. The Japanese like, sausage. Yeah, <laughs> the best kind of sausage. We've got omelette, omelette. We got a shumai, shumai, a dumpling, oh. meatball, and we got a meatball. Uh, let's start with the meatball. <laughs> you know when you don't sleep, and like you, you, your senses just stop working. There's no, there's no taste buds. There's no mouth. <laughs> there's no anything. How are you feeling? No sleeping. I he did sleep, didn't he? He snored sleep? for at least two to three hours. Yeah, oh, no memory. Oh, how convenient. I remember it. Yeah. What? We all remember it. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, good to sleep. No, oh, fucking bastard. <laughs> no. Are you okay? Not, not okay. I've not died yet, but... So long <laughs> walking. Oh. Too high. Yeah. Oh. So it's about an hour and a half to the top from here, and um, it's billed as the most difficult bit because it's mm. it's like a real vertical gradient. Mm. And there's an extra bonus. This is the bit of the climb that's not only the most difficult, but in pitch black, which is why everyone's got a head torch on because otherwise mm. it's just nothingness. One reason I couldn't sleep is my heart was going like duh, 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 the whole time because mm -hmm. my body hadn't acclimatized to the uh, like the low oxygen, I guess, <clears> or something, but really struggled to breathe actually. Mm. So. Have you had a cigarette? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh good. Oh, that's good then. Well, let's finish his breakfast and see how damn cold it is outside. Oh. Fun fact, until 1868, women weren't actually allowed to climb Mount Fuji for religious purposes. Now they can, but if they did, they'd have to spend a small fortune to buy water from the vending machines because it's 500 yen for a bottle of water, ladies and gentlemen. The cheapest item is this disgusting premium boss coffee and this rather tasty apple juice. So there's some options there, but you know, fair enough. We are 3,460 meters up. I think the people that bring the water up can rightly charge a premium, so that's fine with me. Hope you're not smoking. Oh no. But the cooking air is clear. Yeah, it wasn't until you lit the fucking cigarettes up. Fuck. Unbelievable. Oh, the air is so pure, so clear here. Let me light up a marble red. Mm. Ruin the atmosphere. Also, he keeps referring this oxygen tank. He keeps referring to it as CO2, <laughs> carbon dioxide. 
which uh, you should never do. Don't inhale carbon dioxide or monoxide, which is what I suppose he's getting that as well from the cig. Oh, I give up. Let's just go. <laughs> so we're on the home straight. It's a, a sea of lights. It's like snaking lights of people going between Ninth Station and the summit. Good morning, Tyrus. You're doing good though. Yeah, weather is good, but very high. Yeah. High climb. What do you think of the view? Nagabima. Like an escalate. Like an escalate. Yeah, in Tokyo Station. <laughs> Feeling nauseous, sick. Sick. Blech. Oh, Natsuki's cigarette device. Oof. Dude. <sighs> Does really do anything? One more. One more deep. Yeah. And a cigarette. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought like the, the place we were staying, I thought it was right next to the summit. It's not. The summit is somewhere up there. Head sick. Head sick, body sick. Oh, don't sleep. Life sick. Last time I did it, I i just gone to a special place. But there was a queue, right? This time, there's a lot of people, but there's no queue. You can keep going at your own pace. That's kind of nice, but yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember it being like this. <laughs> Station 9.5, 3,590 meters, 30 minutes to the summit that seems to just get further and further away every step I take. I do feel quite sick now, so I'm trying to battle that. Guess the race is on to get there before the sun comes up. That's what it's all about, right? In some respects, the thing that makes climbing Fuji more bearable is the crowds. It is the other people, you know, seeing how they struggle or cheer you on along the way kind of makes it more bearable, knowing that you're all in this together. And it's been nice, people sort of Stop and say, yeah, come back there, keep going. People coming down from the night before, cheering you on. It's a good atmosphere, everyone's really great. And you know that they're all battling through it just as much as you are, but at least we're pretty much there. Well guys, you're probably not gonna believe this, but uh, here on the summit of Mount Fuji. Second time, 10 years later. Unfortunately, Natsuki couldn't make it. Oh, he's here. Oh, he did oh, it. Yeah, this, this, Unbelievable. Whoa, 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 whoa. He did it. This is the last finish. So fucking sunshine. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all the uh, comments of support for Natsuki on um, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, it's, it really means a lot. And yeah, um, yeah we've, we've, we've done it. I can't believe it, really. Thank you so much. But never again. Never again. Yeah. Only a full climb is Mount Fuji twice. But it's good, this view. No one can see it. It's The highest man in Japan. Feels so good. Rich is good. Everybody. You got to do it one time. So, so, so. I recommend it. 50 old people. Let's try. 50 year old people, yeah. I mean, incredible to think Natsuki's 50 in uh, about a week or two. So. Sunlight there. It's about seeing the sunrise from the top of Mount Fuji. I hope I can climb Mount Fuji when I'm 50. I'm 33 or 50. So, incredible to show. No, I don't think so. so. I don't think I'll be climbing this fucking mountain again. So tired <laughs> exercise. Ah, so he's. Beautiful. I don't remember it being like this. It's like it's just a sheer cliff edge, right? You just don't see over. It just, it's almost like we're in just a cloud because you can't see the connection between the summit of Mount Fuji and the ground below. We are champ. You've <laughs> got chocolate on your nose. Why have you got so much chocolate on your face? What did you eat on the way up? <laughs> the crater of Mount Fuji is certainly a sight to behold. It is absolutely gigantic. You know, the fact that there's probably several thousand people around us on this peak just shows you the sense of scale. But yeah, really, 
Kind of creepy looking into the crater of Mount Fuji. I said it before 10 years ago, to think that one day it could well erupt. It's said to be overdue. It last erupted 1707. Don't want to be here the day that it happens. Yeah. Scary volcano. Too big. Oh, like a black fall. <laughs> over the years, I've flown like over Fuji an awful lot on domestic flights. I've always thought it's sad that I, I, I felt like I was never going to stand on it again and be up here. And so coming back, even though I'm a fool, it's totally worth it. Like, I'm really happy I came up here. Would I do it again? Oh, I don't think I would. But never say never, right? Never say never. <laughs> to the Victor goes the spoils. I've got a, uh, it's not cup noodle, it's hot noodle, a cheap cup noodle brand. But my God, I would eat literally dirt right now and be happy. But this is actually pretty damn good. Soy sauce broth. What have you got, Natsuki? Udon noodles? Mmm. What the noodle? Fatty noodles. Tempura. Little tempura. Man, this has hit the spot. It's, uh, it's about 6.30 in the morning now. A fine breakfast indeed. This is probably the best hot noodle that I've ever had. Good taste. But expensive. Mm. This was 800 yen. Normally it costs like 200, 200 yen. So four, well, that's, that's quite a lot. Jesus. But I would pay it again. And I might well do it. I'm still hungry after this, so. <laughs> but Natsuki, we are on the summit of Mount Fuji, but we're not on the summit of the summit of Mount Fuji. Summit? Yeah, Chojon or Chojon. Kingamine Peak, it's called. Mm. Kingamine. And it's a little walk around the crater, and then you go up another few meters. And that is where the peak of Mount Fuji is. I wanted to go there last time, couldn't. This time we're gonna do it. Last time we had to abandon ship very quickly because my, uh, my friend, my fellow climber George, he got like frostbite because he wore shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> what was he thinking? So we got to the top, saw the sunrise, and then we fucked off straight away. This time we can actually take it a little bit more of a leisurely pace and actually enjoy being on Mount Fuji and all the hot noodles we deserve. Mm. It's not just Natsuki's 50th birthday we're celebrating. With the launch of the Abroad Japan book, we've carried five copies up here to the summit. I say we, it was mostly the team who begrudgingly carried them up. <laughs> We're running a little competition so you can get your hands on one of these unique Fuji Summit copies. To find out more, check the link in the description box below. It's the most simple competition ever made, and it'd be pretty cool if you get one. So we've got five copies of the book here, and I'm signing each one so people know that this is the copy that made it to the summit of Mount Fuji on this very day. Five copies only. But you can get your own copy of the Abroad Japan book out August 3rd on Amazon, Blackwells, Waterstones, any bookshop around the world. Check it out, guys. I'm uh, really proud of this book. It took six months to write. Ten years of experiences written in six months, packed into a book 300 pages long. It's going to be a good one. Check it out. So you haven't really gone to the summit of Mount Fuji until you've gone to Kengamine Peak over there which I didn't actually go to last time. But that is the absolute peak of Mount Fuji, 3,776 meters. Are you ready to finish the job that you started? Oh, maybe jump? Uh, I want to jump. Oh, da, da, don't do that. Da, 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 it's been going so well, Natsuki. Please don't da, da. jump. Come on. The Abroad Japan book at the highest point of Mount Fuji, the highest point in Japan. Yes. Go, no, congratulations. Thank you so much, Natsuki. Oh. Into the crater. One copy of the book forever immortalized in Mount Fuji. <laughs> uh -huh. Not a bad idea, actually. That's literary. We don't like that. Did you know Mount Fuji has a post office? While the UK post never arrives in Japan, they have one of the tallest mountains. But it is only in operation between the 10th of July and the 20th of August. So bear that in mind if you want to send things to Mount Fuji. People like to do it. It's kind of cool to uh, receive like an envelope, a letter saying, oh, this was posted from Mount Fuji. There's also a, a shrine here, which is also very nice, very new. It definitely feels like they've built quite a few more things here in the last 10 years. You can actually sleep on the summit, like uh, the kind of place we stayed last night. On the ninth station, you can stay on the, the I don't even know what it's called, the tent station, the winner station. Imagine that, just waking up, bang, you're on Mount Fuji. Definitely would consider doing that next time. Well, Natsuki, you came, you saw, you did. But now, got to climb all the way. Oh. Back down to the car park, three or four hours. Are you ready? Three or four hours? To the car park. Oh, long, long, long. Going down is not fun, because it's very slippery, it's very slidey. 
with all the volcanic ash. It's dangerous, dangerous, yeah. And your legs can often just buckle and give way, so we've got to be careful. Luckily, this beanie will protect me. <laughs> Down we go, Natsuki. Well, I'm a knee. Broken. What? Broken knee. Broken knee. Let's hope not, because that'll make this a lot harder than it needs to be. Unfortunately, Natsuki mentioning his broken knee soon feels like a prophecy. Despite watching some crazy climbers quite literally sprinting down the side of the mountain, slipping and sliding our way down one wrong footing can lead to disaster. Not long after getting underway, Natsuki's footing slips and he takes a nasty fall, practically somersaulting down the mountain. And while we didn't catch it on camera, here's the audio so you know we're not bloody exaggerating how bad it really was. <laughs> Natsuki took a nasty tumble. He slipped, fell, rolled, did a backflip. And it's a miracle he's still alive. Miracle slip. Miracle slip. Wow. That's what we call it. Very dangerous. I don't know, getting down from Fuji's not fun. You slip, you slide, you fall. I've fallen a few times, but I think a zip line would be the perfect way to get down from Mount Fuji. When I was on the Great Wall of China, they've got a toboggan. That's what, the, uh, that's what they would have wanted, isn't it? The Qing Dynasty. But still, I imagine, right? The car park's like 1,200 metres down there. Imagine a, a zip line to the finish line. And then we wouldn't have to have a half-dead Natsuki. No, shoulder out just the back. Shoulder attack. What do you think of his face? Good. Pretty good. Uh, Pretty good. <laughs> Could be better. Could be better. Despite his injuries, Natsuki battles through the pain and is back on his feet in no time at all. Ever the samurai warrior. Meanwhile, I run into some viewers who are halfway through their ascent and end up being a little bit too honest with them about what lies in store. It gets really slippery, so you've got to like... Yeah, you've got to be really careful. Like Natsuki did like a fucking somersault. Shouldn't be scaring you like this. It's magical, it's like... <laughs> Unicorns and rainbows. One bit. Up, up there. Here we are, Natsuki. 2,400 metres. Yesterday, when we left, we were mere mortals. Today, we are champions of Mount Fuji. Well done. What was the best moment? What was the highlight of your climb? Fuji Shadow. Oh yeah, yesterday when we were climbing and the sun set, you got this amazing shadow of Fuji cast over the landscape and the sea, gradually getting bigger, right? Same Fuji style. Yeah, 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 that's pretty oh, cool. Nice. And you can only kind of see that if you're on the summit of Fuji yeah. or in a plane. I have to say, I know Natsuki fell over, my knees are destroyed. I can barely stand yeah, like. shoulder. It's so much pressure, every rock you stand on, you feel your body jolt. It's really scary doing that. And what I will say is, while I really enjoyed the Fuji no Mia route and there was less people and it was nice, coming down it was really brutal because there are a lot more rocks. On the Fuji Yoshida side, you actually get this really nice just big pathway with some ash and not many rocks and you can just sort of walk down it with no problem so soft yeah soft they were barely different <laughs> i'm first time yeah we, we we really put natsuki through it on the first time so really impressed well done natsuki i'm i was dead and maybe at station seven station seven and uh, eight he was dead pretty early on so the fact he got up there i think he blew us all away with our expectations miracle it's a miracle, miracle. And now, you can do it. Dinner time. How about a nice, juicy, delicious. And a beer, you? Beer, yeah, beer. Oh, yeah. McDonald's. Book yourself. <laughs> Go book yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Go book yourself. What does that mean? 